Hello everyone, it is Saturday afternoon and uh, it's been a few days since making a video. Um, sorry for the delay. Uh, just been dealing with some environmental issues here. Uh, we've been getting a very large amount of rain here and um, where I live I have to travel down a dirt road to get out of the property I live on so it's been just challenging. Just living daily life, going to work, and things like that, and just heavy rains at night time have a tendency to wake me up, so I just haven't been getting a lot of sleep, but anyway, you know, excuses are baloney, um, I'm here now, and that's what matters. So, um, since I am here, uh, there are some things that have been unfolding to me recently that are worth talking about and um, one of those things happened on my way back home this afternoon. Earlier today I was visiting with some people that uh, I get together with once a month. Um, we're, we're basically part of a, a local book study club, you can say, and we haven't met for the last several months, three months or so, just because of different people having family obligations and traveling and holidays and stuff like that. Um, so really, this is the first time we've been together uh, since Hex started, and um, of course that was something I wanted to tell everybody about was my involvement with Hex, but it seemed like the environment was too much um, dominated by uh, just all the stuff that's going on in the world right now with coronavirus and stuff. That just seemed like that's the only thing that anybody really wanted to talk about. So that was one uh, potential obstacle to uh, changing the subject. Um, but more important than that was on my way home, I realized that, you know, in, in a past couple videos, I had talked about the difference between true love and the game of love and how valuable of a lesson that is. And something that goes along with that um, being equally valuable is understanding the difference between true righteousness and the game of religion. Um, in the past, it, over some videos, I've talked about the presence of law, universal law. And really, true righteousness is simply the effect of living your life in harmony with universal law. Um, when people want to play games, they end up getting stuck in the game of religion. And the problem with that is um, religion is powerless to liberate the conscience. And people make a lot of money at the game of religion, keeping people's consciences enslaved. And... Um, you know, again, it's another game that's rigged. And, you know, if people play it, there is a way out of it. But usually when people start to count the cost, they'd rather just die than pay the price because it's really, it's really overwhelming when you say it. And um, you know, uh, wow, this is really heavy. Um, like I said, this was just this was literally just coming to me in the last fifteen minutes as I was driving home. And <clears throat> it, 
it's you know i've I have avoided using religious terminology in my videos for this very reason is because so many people have been caught up in this game and when they hear certain words they tend to get triggered and it's not my objective to uh, trigger people. Um, it's my objective for people to simply know the truth so that they can be free. And this is one of the reasons that I uh, am so committed to Hex is because Hex is a tool of liberation because Hex operates according to law. Now, granted, Hex operates according to the laws of mathematics, um, but that's still a law. Um, mathematics is just uh, a system of laws that explains a universe that human beings have created, which is the universe of mathematics. This is in contrast to science, which is man's attempts to explain the operation of a universe that man did not create. So, um, you know, hopefully sentiments will change um, between now and the next time that we meet. But, um, you know, another thing that was coming to me on my way home was I was reminded of a business conference I went to when I was younger and the man who was speaking at that conference um, he made a simple point and that is if you want to be successful in life you're going to have to make up your mind whether you are going to pay now and play forever or you can play now and pay forever and regardless of what you do your life is going to manifest the outworkings of one of those two principles one way or the other and um you know, it requires a certain degree of character and responsibility for a person to be willing to pay whatever price life is requiring of them to pay uh, in order to be able to play forever, what, however that works out. And, um, you know... I could see why Hex really isn't for everybody, you know. Love isn't for everybody. Success isn't for everybody. Um, you know, it's... Most people cannot shoulder the burdens that comes with having these things. Because when you have them, it has a way of putting you in the spotlight that um, can create stage fright for some people. I've heard several people say that public speaking is like one of the most scariest things a person could ever do. I think it's one of the most fun things to do. <laughs> you know, every time I've done it, it's just been a blast. And that's one of the reasons I like making these videos, because I, I, it's not discomforting for me. I'm not afraid of how somebody's going to react to what I say, or if somebody's going to counter what I say with something that's going to somehow break my spirits or whatever. It just ain't going to happen. So, these are the things that have come to me today, and um, because I had been contacted by someone telling me that they were missing me and my videos, it's just, you know, just one more galvanizing uh, effect on me to stick it with it. So here I am, and here we go for some more. So 
Uh, hope to hear from folks and see more of you around and enjoy your weekend. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.